Hi, my name is Bob Montante, and this video is about my experimental course in Parallel and Distributed Computing and Networking at Bloomsburg University. In the fall of 2019, I conducted an experimental course intended to add new content in line with ABET guidelines. The course combined material on parallel programming with computer networking topics in the context of a Beowulf cluster of Raspberry Pis. The usual approach for developing a new course at Bloomsburg is to conduct it experimentally a couple of times before adding it to the regular curriculum. I plan to add this as a computer science degree requirement, either extending or to some extent replacing the current computer organization required course. The presumed prerequisite for this course is another computer science requirement, a second year course in C and 64-bit assembly programming. I teach this course using Raspberry Pi computers that the students buy instead of textbooks. Thus, the students also get exposure to the Linux operating system in contrast to the Windows or Mac OS system that most of them use already. I provide a 64-bit operating system image that is set up to operate headless. This allows the students to plug the Raspberry Pi into their own laptop or desktop and use that system as a console instead of needing a separate monitor, keyboard, and mouse for the Raspberry Pi. I've done this for two years so far. By now, most of our majors should have a Raspberry Pi in their possession available for use in other courses. My initial plan was to introduce the idea of a Beowulf cluster and have the students work in groups to combine their own Raspberry Pis into temporary clusters. We would cover the networking topics necessary to get the Pis to communicate with each other as IP-based nodes, with any node capable of taking a turn as a head node and DHCP server. This would be consistent with the approach used in the C and Assembly course. We would then move on to parallel programming, starting with OpenMP and then pthreads on individual nodes. Finally, we would move on to OpenMPI using the assembled clusters. If time permitted, we could combine the use of OpenMPI and OpenMP. The pacing for this course was one-third networking and two-thirds PDC topics. Unfortunately, I spent more time on general networking concepts than I needed to at the expense of cluster-specific material. The course used was the Peter Pacheco textbook, whose content order starts with OpenMPI and then moves on to OpenMPI, or OpenMP and pthreads. This was the reverse of how I meant to approach it, so we had to hop around in the textbook. The end result was somewhat disappointing, although enlightening. I had 10 students, and they fell into two categories. Either they were willing to set up an entire cluster of their own, or they just wanted to do programming using a temporary account on my own cluster and avoid the hardware. I got carried away with the abstract networking material, and things degenerated into a lecture initially. This didn't engage the students like hands-on material does. Meanwhile, the students either assembled their own clusters independently or weren't assembling one at all. When we finally talked about assembling the clusters, it was still a bit abstract as the first parallel topics weren't cluster-based. Instead, the basic concepts of PDC were introduced alongside the practical details of OpenMP and then pthreads. Since the textbook covered things in a different order, there wasn't support for the concepts in the reading. When we finally came to OpenMPI and usage of the clusters, it was late in the semester. We never got as far as combining topics. So I'm offering the course for the second time this fall. Eight students are enrolled. I'm hoping for more, but fearful of ending up with fewer thanks to the COVID-19 situation. In any case, I plan to do a very brief first week description of a Beowulf cluster, provide a suitable modification of my C and assembly OS for anyone building a cluster, and accounts for anyone else. We'll start with PDC concepts this time and follow the textbook order. This will bring in open MPI and cluster usage right away and offer better textbook support for the concepts. 
Again, I hope to spend the first third of the semester three to four weeks on OpenMPI. Then we'll follow with two to two and a half weeks on OpenMP, another two to two and a half weeks on pthreads, and finish with an introduction to the IP networking underpinnings of a computer cluster. Bloomsburg is running on a shortened schedule this year, 12 weeks instead of 15 for the semester, so the networking may go out the window. Thank you.